So when solving for the substitution method, and we have something that looks like this, we have 2x plus 5y equals 6, and 9y plus 2x equals 22. Uh, one of the things that we definitely want to make sure that we understand is that it doesn't matter how the variables are placed, especially when we're doing our substitution method, because the main thing that we want to do is isolate a variable. We want to get a variable by itself. Now, you may encounter fractions, and that's okay. Um, you just want to make sure to understand how to do those and solve using fractions. So what I'll do here is I'm going to go ahead and have equation 1, and then I'll do equation 2. Uh, equation 1 and equation 2, and let's see. Well, I'm, first, I'm going to go ahead and pick equation 1, and I'm going to solve for a variable. It does not matter what equation you use, guys. It could be any equation. Uh, as long as you isolate the variable, it'll all be the same. So what I'll do is I'm just going to go ahead and solve for x. So I'll solve for x. And I'm going to write that over here. So I have 2x plus 5y equals 6. So all I'm doing is just rewriting it so you can see my work. Now what I want to do, and I'll do my next steps in a different color, but uh, I want to get this x right here all by itself. How do I do that? Well, the first thing I want to do is get rid of this y variable. I want to get that all to the other side. How do you do that? Well, you subtract 5 to both sides. So you just subtract 5y, actually, because you can take the whole thing. You can take the y and the 5 and subtract it. Since this is plus 5, all you do is to do the opposite. And what you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. This cancels out, and you're left with 2x is equal to 6. Well, you can't combine these because 6 and 5y are what you call unlike terms. So they're unlike. So then it's just 6 minus 5y. Perfect. Then what do we do? Well, we still want to isolate the x. So what we have to do is divide 2 to everything in the equation. So that will cancel out and you'll be left with x by itself, which is exactly what we wanted to do. And then, let's see, 6 over 2 gives us 3 minus, uh-oh, 5 over 2y. So we will encounter a fraction, but that's okay. So our first thing was to solve for x but it can be solving for y. You can solve for x in this equation. You can solve for y on that equation. Um, I'll go ahead and create another lesson for you guys so you can see what happens if we solve something else if you guys are interested in doing that. But in the second step, uh, we'll do our second step. Plug. So let's plug what we got for x. So this right here. So we plug our value in 4x. So let's say plug value in 4x in equation 2. So I'm writing this out so you guys can actually see some notes here. So we plug value in 4x in equation 2. So I just wrote eq as equation. So this is equation 2. So instead of my x right here, so I'll go ahead and write 9y plus 2, and you can follow these steps every time. It's okay, and I'll just put a set of parentheses, equals 22. So all I did was I took out my x, so I just pulled it right out. I put parentheses there, and now I'll say whatever x equals, I'll plug in. What does x equal? Well, x equals 3 minus 5 over 2y. And I will go ahead and plug that in. 3 minus 5 over 2y. You see, that's exactly what we did. And the reason why we have to do that is because now we have y's in the equation, which allow us to solve for one variable. That's why systems of equations can get a little tricky. So I'm going to go ahead and do distributive property here. So I'll do 9y plus, well, 2 times 3 gives me 6, minus, and we'll do 2 times 
5 over 2 y equals 22. So all I did was I just wrote an extra step so you guys can see exactly what we're doing here. Uh, when we're multiplying fractions, and you just want to have a good grasp of multiplying fractions, these 2's will actually cancel out, so you'll be left with 5 over 1, or you'll just be left with 5, which is perfect. So now we have 9y plus 6 minus 5y equals 22. See, people get scared with fractions, and it really is just one simple step of just distributive property and multiplying it through, because 5 over 2 times 2 gives us just 5. So understand multiplying fractions. That'll help you out. Uh, when we combine our like terms, so we know that that and these, so the 9y minus 5y are like terms, we're left with 4y plus 6 equals 22. Uh, let's get some room here. Uh, let's, let's erase this a little bit so we can actually have some room to work. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this. So hopefully you guys took some good notes on that um, and you guys understand what we have to do. But I'm going to continue the problem over here. So now we're left with that. And it, it, this is just some basic algebra problem solving right here. So we have 4y, and I'll just rewrite it, plus 6 equals 22. We subtract 6 to both sides. That cancels out. You're left with 4y is equal to 16. So we're going to get our first answer here, guys. We're going to get the first answer. And that will be what? Well, we divide by 4 to both sides. And we can see that y, so let's just draw an arrow here. OK, y equals 4. Why? Because these canceled out. 16 over 4 is 4. Great. Good job. Now, we're not done just yet. So I'm going to erase this work now because we're going to do step number 3. Now, I'm going slow, so you, I want you guys to understand. But once you master this, you guys can pretty much master uh, substitution. So step 3 here, uh, step number 3, you plug... value for y, y, and solve for x. So you plug your value for y and you solve for x. So we remember, uh, if we look back at our old equation, or when we solve for x, x equaled 3 minus 5 over 2y. So let's go ahead and just plug in that for y. So what I'll do um, here is I'm going to erase this, and I'm just going to say minus 5 over 2 times 4, right? Uh, and I'll make 4 a fraction, so we'll do 4 over 1 uh, by cross-canceling. And if you're not understanding this, then you definitely want to work on some fractions here. Uh, then we know that we're left with, and let's go here, so just so you guys can follow along. Um, we have x is equal to 3 minus 5 over 1 times 2 over 1, which is just equal to 3 minus 10 over 1, which is just equal to 3 minus 10 which equals negative 7. So we can say that x equals negative 7. So we have our two answers right here. And all you want to do now is you want to just put those in a point form. So now, uh, just to kind of clean everything up so you guys can see what's going on, um, I'm just going to make it nice and clean for you guys. We know that we'll put it in point form. That's x y form, so we'll say that the value is, the point is negative 7, 4. And that's your answer. So plug those back into one of your original equations, and if it works, then you'll see that these are the solutions.